Hi guys, welcome back to TA Hunters. This is just a quick update video uh, telling you about my, uh, well, where I'm going on my YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel is going to get a little bit better from now on because I've got a massive selection of rifles and scopes to use out in the field. Um, I've teamed up with, I would say, that is one of the most advanced air rifle companies uh, out there at the market in a minute. Uh, they do from the old classic rifles right up to the old uh, right up to the new uh, high tech electronic rifles. They do uh, field target rifles and they do hunting rifles as well. Uh, the company that I'm talking about is Daystate. I've teamed up with, and I'm also an ambassador for this amazing company. So now I get to play with a lot, a lot of rifles. I get to play with the Day States, the Brococks, and the MTC Optic Scopes. So uh, the first rifle they lent out to me is the Brocock Sniper XR in a laminate stock. Um, I said to them, they, well, they said to me, what rifle would you like? So I said, this is the rifle I would like. They were going to give me the Ghost, uh, the, uh, the Brocock Ghost, but the rifle... I've got in front of me now, just below there, is uh, it's a rifle that I've that I've always wanted to go out there and shoot. It's a rifle that I've seen once at the shooting range, and as soon as I see someone put it up and put it on the table from the case, I just literally fell in love with it. So uh, I will show you what it is. So right here we go, the Brocock Sniper. XR in a 2.2 calibre and a sub 12 foot pound with the laminate stock. I'm going to take this out uh, just before it starts getting dark and it is getting dark now so I've got to be quick with this. I'm going to take it just at the back garden there in the yard and uh, I've got a bit of a woodland there. I'm going to take it out for a bit of plinking and I'm just going to show you um, that the, uh, the grouping that this thing does it's quite amazing. The pellets I'm going to use for this are uh, JSB uh, Hades. These are hunting pellets. These are not really, I would say, field target pellets or anything like that. But um, they are basically a hunting pellet. And to see these group up at 20 yards, 30 yards and 40 yards. And I'm hoping that the groups will get into the 10p piece. So right, just going to quick go for the rifle. So the rifle, it's got the laminated stock with a nice big um, pistol grip on there. We've got the the, uh, the little groove there as well, cut out. That is for your trigger finger, and it fits really nice in the hands. On the back, we've got the uh, adjustable butt pad, and on top we've got adjustable cheek piece. We we'll move along. Underneath it, we've got the uh, two-stage adjustable trigger. And just above that, we've got the safety catch. Some people don't like safety catch there, but it doesn't really get in the way when uh, taking a shot. So we move along now. We've got the, the most smoothest uh, cocking lever I've ever used on a rifle. As you can see, you can use that with one hand. Nice and smooth. We've got the... Uh, power dial there that comes in three stages so your first one is six to, uh, sub 12 foot pound then it goes to 10 and then to 12 there we've got the uh, magazine this is in a 2.2 caliber and it's 11 shot magazine it is a day state magazine i'll quickly show you it it's just simply got the gate on the front nice and easy pull the gate down Spin the wheel till it stops. As soon as it stops, drop your first pellet in there and that will lock in position. And then you can drop the rest of your pellets in. Close the gate, back inside, and you're ready to go. Right, we're going to move along now. Right, we're going to move along now. So the, the weight of this rifle is 3.3 kilos, which is not really that heavy, I would say. You're going to need a sling on it 
if you're going up rabbiting for about an hour and a half, it will get a little bit too heavy. So the barrel, the barrel is a full shrouded barrel and the length of the barrel is 430 millimetres long and it is super quiet. I know we've got this, the uh, hug it silence on that as well, but like I said, it is dead, dead quiet. We've got the cylinder just underneath it. This is a carbon fibre cylinder. It holds pressure is uh, 200 bar and it, and it uh, holds 420 shots in a 2 2. So there's no need to be dragging your, your air cylinder bottle around with you if you think you're going to run out of shots. You're more likely to run, run out of uh, tenor pellets than you are to run out of shots on this rifle. We've got the uh, two gauges there. One is for the regulator pressure. This is a full regulated rifle. And underneath there, we've got the uh, air pressure gauge as well. Um, on here, we've got the uh, Picatinny rail as well for your bipod. And then we've got your filling point there as well. I know this is only a quick review, but I really need to get out of there because it is starting to get a little bit dark and I want to get on and show you a bit of plinking. So on top of the rifle, we've got the uh, MTC Copperhead Scope, 4 to 16 times 44 with a side focus uh, dial on there as well. And it is illuminate, illuminated reticle as well. And the mounts are MTC mounts as well. I know the rifle sits, the scope sits a little bit forward on this. The reason why is, let me show you, is because my PAR 007 fits on the back. Once on the back, it finishes about here. And it's a perfect length for me to look through. So right, we must get out there and take on a few uh, of these targets before it gets too dark. So right, so about the reviews a little bit quick on this rifle, but we need to get out. So right, let's see you out in the garden. Right, that was 20 yards. We're moving up from now to 30 yards. It's getting a little bit dark now as well, so I've got to be really quick with this.
So right, um, I'm at 30 yards now. I'm gonna put five shots for it. And uh, once I put the five shots for it, we'll move it back. The uh, mat, another 10 yards. And then we stick another five for it. And uh, gotta be quick though, because it is getting very, very dark. And I don't like being out of the dark, I get very scared. Um, might just crack on with it. I'm not actually aiming, well I'm actually aiming for the centre, but it's all about the grouping, right? I know it's got to come over to the right hand side a little bit, but grouped up really well. Right, let's move it back another 10 yards, and then we're going to be going at 40 yards. What I'm going to do quickly now, I'm going to put a new target up, and uh, crack on again. Bad at all, was it? I'm only looking at the grouping, by the way. But 40 yards, that is really good. So, right, let's go and check it out. yards that weren't bad at all was it happy day you see the light it's getting uh, it was actually dropping now it's getting very dark but it's quite a distance and it grouped up like that so this rifle is absolutely one of the best hunting rifles like I said earlier I've used so far so right, let's get back home and uh, we have a look at the targets. So right, I'm back home now, uh, in my dining room, uh, where it's nice and warm. Uh, the light did dim down quite a lot out there. Um, so about that, I could hit my boy's room, it's just literally right above us. Um, yeah, so the light dimmed down uh, quite quick out there. Uh, the pellets, obviously, um, a JSP 
height is 5.89 grain um, these are not really um, one of the best pellets for I would say target shooting these are more of a hunting pellet but it still shows you uh, what this rifle can do at them ranges so I'll just quickly go through and show you the uh, the groups which it done so right this is 20 yards and that is the group on there and I've just got a little 10 pp piece here and that will cover a quick on one sec on sec on sec so as you can see that does that covers all that all them holes so once out in the field if that was a rabbit or a squirrel all in five pellets are going in the same place right that is 20 yards right now we go 30 yards and it's the same thing we use the 10p as well so here we go it's the right way right way anyway that's it there got a little flyer there little one there apart from that 30 yards that is still good just stick the 10p over it and we have a little look as you see not bad oops apart from the flyer but that is still good at 30 yards and these are hunting pellets you know these are not actually um target pellets but right we'll go for the 40 now we should show the 40 right this is quite impressive really right i was aiming for the bullseye on this and um, it's all about the group right so we're not really we're not talking about um hitting the center of this uh target but take a look at that that is 40 yards there's an extra pellet in there as well because this magazine is a 11 shot uh, magazine so there's an extra one but went actually in the same hole there as you can see those little three pellets in there and we got three up there as well just going to put the 10p over it and just show you what that is all about and as you can see 10p covers that that is at 40 yards don't forget so this uh semi ball pup rifle here we go that is a a really really accurate little hunting rifle as you can see i've got the par 007 on top of that as well with the eagle vision adapter as well to hold that to the scope and as you can see it's sort of more in alignment now with the scope the scope's not really sitting too much forward now as you can see so my cheeks sit there I look straight through there so that is the Brocock Sniper XR so right that is uh, that is the review all done now um, I'm not really one for reviews um, just it was just a little talk over the rifle but I'm more of a huntsman. I'd rather go out, out in the field and do what this rifle's meant to do, which is uh, take many vermin out as you can. And uh, yeah, so that is it. That is the uh, the video come to an end. I just want to say thanks for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'll give you a little bonus bit on the end. I'm going to literally show you um, some footage of a few days down the golf course with this rifle taking on a few rabbits so all right i will see you on the next video so uh take care and i'll see you again